Hey guys, and we're back for part two of the Mega Speculation video. Say hi, E. Um, to uh, right now, uh, we're gonna be discussing uh, uh, the Elite Four members uh, to see if like they have any potential for Megas, uh, the Gym Leaders, and Wallace, and maybe some other Megas that we missed last episode. Yeah, this is part two. Because I got a live shiny last time we tried to record. Yeah, this is attempt two. But anyways, um, so we're gonna start off with, uh, last time we started off with Elite Four members, but we're gonna start off with, uh, Waylord. Your thoughts? Champion. There's a little bit of potential he could get a mega. But uh on to uh Milotic. It was either Milotic or uh Waylord. You know, I think it was Milotic, because I remember watching someone fight him, and he had, like, Waylord as his second Pokemon. Yeah, Alright, so there's a good chance that uh, Milotic might get a Mega. But, uh, on to uh, Metagross and Skarmory. The reason I'm putting them, like, together is because uh, Steven Stone, he has both of them on his team. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, he's researching Megas. And he has two on his hand. Yeah, that's right. He does have two rings. And the thing is, they look identical, because if you look at the trailer, they look identical to the Mega Rings that the main characters have. Uh, and then now we are on to the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the Elite Four Megas? E. Thoughts on the Elite Four members, the Megas. Yeah, that's, but the champion, if it's Steven or Wallace, no matter what, they're going to have a Mega. Yep. Most likely, most likely it's going to be Steven, but there is still that small chance that it could be Wallace. Because they trademarked the name Delta Emerald. So we either could get an Emerald remake, or they're just doing the same thing like they did with Pokemon Grey. Yeah, they did. Because I was watching this one guy's video, and he said, uh, this could work, or it couldn't, because they trademarked the name Pokemon Grey in when Black and White was released. But they made black and white too. I would, I would rather have Pokemon, right? mm. Well, uh, is there any like non third gen Pokemon that you think could get a Mega? Jodo? Yeah, me too. They might do the same thing like they did with, uh, uh, Kalos, like, you get to pick from a different guy, 
for the other starters and then they have Megas. But it is a remake, so we don't know yet. Mother Hubber. Um, uh, another Pokemon on my list that I have is Jinx. Now, the thing is with Jinx, I saw a rumor on the internet with a list of Megas, and it was all the Megas, a couple others, and Jinx was on there. So Jinx could get a Mega. I think it's fake. I'm making a video! Um, uh, that pretty much wraps it up for potential Megas, but one thing I did want to talk about is Mega Sableye. <laughs> Mega Sableye is pretty much, I think, I feel as if they could have done better with this design. Has a huge gem, so I think he's gonna be a lot more defensive. Uh huh. Cause you can see in the trailer he was using Shadow Sneak. Yeah. But. I was thinking, like, maybe Hariyama for Omega. Just a thought. Just a small thought. Uh-huh. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for part two of Potential Megas. Um, if you guys want me to make, like, a list like this again. Uh, just post down in the comments a bunch of megas that you would want to see in the new games, or just pretty much any Pokemon, and we'll talk about it. But yeah, uh, maybe for another video we'll do like uh, not uh, man, stop tip my tongue, the. Primal forms for Kyogre and Groudon, and the potential for what Rayquaza is going to be. Oh yeah, and Regigigas, maybe. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. See you guys next time. I'm Q, and... And we're out. Peace!